Hello everybody, welcome to Bunky's Workshop. I am Bunky, and today I am bringing you something that I saw on a YouTube channel and I thought, no, this can't be true. So I wanted to get one to try it out for myself. Um, but I didn't want to go into debt for one. So I found this Quasin Art Vertical Waffle Maker that's been refurbished online, and I believe I found it on Walmart. But uh, again, I saw a video on an individual using one of these, and I thought this could not be true. Uh, it cannot be this easy. I love waffles, but every time I've tried to use a waffle iron, they either got stuck or they weren't done, and then they made this big mess, and I thought, uh-uh. But then again, I saw this, and I'm like, okay, that looks pretty easy. I will invest in um, a refurbished one. And if it works, great, I'm happy. If it doesn't, well, out the door it goes and I didn't spend a lot of money. So here it is, the Quasin Art Vertical Belgium Waffle Maker, okay? As you see, it stands upright. Um, you pour it in from the top and it opens downwards. And I will show it. Now, yes, it is in the box because um, I want to show you what it looked like as I received it. And this is the box it came in. And yes, I have used it twice and I do like it. And I wanted to bring you along and tell you about this item uh, for those of you out there that love homemade waffles. So here we go. I'm going to take it out of the box. Um, it does come with its wonderful, uh, got it backwards manual for it. It did come with its own cup. And the box will go away. I'll put this down here. This is how it comes. Very easy. Now I must say it came in a plastic bag and then in the box. But again, like I, I'm telling you up front, I have used it twice and I loved it. So it does have a few crumbs on it, but there it is all in its glory, isn't it cute? And to open it has this little clip on the side, you see? You squeeze it and it opens up. Now, yes, there's a few crumbs in there. Like I said, um, I used it twice, I really liked it. And uh, I want to bring you along and show you exactly what I have. After using it twice, nothing has gotten stuck in it. Um, I'm just amazed by it. So I'm hoping and praying that it happens again. Uh, so I will show you how you use it. This dial is for temperature, depending on how you like your waffles, whether you want them very light and mushy or soft. And the higher the number, the longer it cooks, the crispier it becomes. So we've been using it on number three. Um, two and three was our perfect. One was too soft. Um, four and five was really crispy. So we found three was perfect. You pick the number that works for you. And how this works. When you plug it in, this I'll bring you closer. When you plug it in, this light turns on, which means it's heating up. So you wait a while, you will hear it beep, and the green light turns on telling you you are ready to cook your first waffle. You pour in your batter, it will turn red, and it will stay red until your waffle is ready. When the waffle is ready to come out, it will turn green, it will beep at you saying, let me out. You open it up and grab your waffle, and on to the next one. So it's pretty easy. So before I do this, I want to do the mix. Now, you can either use Bisquick or any mix, um, homemade mix or box mix, whatever you use. Um, I am using the King Arthur Classic uh, Pancake Slash Waffle Mix. Um, now this is the gluten-free mix. They have all kinds of mix, regular and so forth. You pick the mix that works for you. We use King Arthur or the Bisquick mix that is gluten-free. Matthew cannot have wheat. So that's what we use. Again, you pick what works for you, okay? 
I would just suggest that you would get a mix uh, that does say um, waffle mix. Um, I guess you could use pancake mix. I guess it would be the same, but I don't know. I guess it's just a me thing. On the back here, it says for pancakes, do this. For waffles, do that. So here we go. So I already have one of these open because I've already used it. And it says deliciously light and fluffy, rich in calcium and iron and vitamin D. Yeehaw. I don't care. When I eat a waffle, I want it to taste, taste good. So here we go with this on the back. It says, for waffles, prepare batter direct as described above, but add an additional one or two minutes for making waffles. Well, it does it all for you, so we don't have to worry about it. So it says, for mix, we want one cup of mix. So here we go. We are going to do one cup of mix. Come on, get on out of there. Come on, now it's kind of like stuck in the bag. Come on out of there. Don't be shy. There we go. One cup of mix, we'll put that aside. Now, what I have noticed is the King Arthur mix is a little more sweeter than the Bisquick. So if you'd like your waffle or pancake to be on the sweet side, go with the King Arthur. If you like it to be less sweet, uh, maybe go with the Bisquick. But here we go, let's continue. One cup of mix, one large egg, Crack one large happy egg in the mix it goes and throw that away. Let me get my kitchen towel. What else does it say? Mix one large egg. We need oil. Now it says either use oil or butter. I've got the oil out. We're going to use that. And it says one and a half tablespoons of oil. I am using Crisco vegetable oil just for the fun of it. So one and a half tablespoons. Uno and a half. How do you say a half? <laughs> and a half. So we're just going to do a little bit of a half here. There we go. Of our wonderful oil. There we go. So we have mix. We have the oil. We have the egg. Now we're doing two-thirds cup of milk. go. Now let's double check ourselves. One cup of mix, one large eggs, one and a half tablespoons of melted butter or oil, and two-thirds cup of milk. And we are going to stir this together. There we go. Now again, like I said, the King Arthur is a little bit sweeter than the Bisquick mix. Keep that in mind, but I have used both. The first time was the Bisquick and it worked wonderfully. Then I went back to the store to get some more of it. They were sold out, so then I got the King Arthur and did it. And that's the first thing we noticed. They both came out wonderful, um, except like I said, one was sweeter than the other. Oh, well, the King Arthur cost a little bit more. So if you, maybe if you're on a budget or whatever it may be. So there we go, as you can see. So this is probably going to make two to three waffles. We're going to see. If I remember correctly, it made two and a half, but we're going to find out. So there we go. I'm going to put that aside. Let's get our wonderful waffle maker. I am going to plug her in. 
guess I'm going to use this plug. And as you can see, the red light is on, so give it a second. I'm going to get, while it is heating up, I am going to put some of my stuff away that I don't need right now. Like put the milk back in the fridge where it belongs. I'm going to need this and this. I will not need the oil. Let's put that away. Okay, that is good for now. I'm going to let this heat up. It doesn't take long at all. So my fear with this, when I was watching this young lady make the waffles, if I can find her video again, I'll try to paste it down below. But I thought for crying out loud now, you know that that liquid is going to pour out the bottom or the bottom is going to be cooked and not the top. Or I'm going to open it up and like every time I tried a waffle maker, the dang thing got stuck and I would get ticked off. So um, I said, surely she's making this look easy. Now, she did use a spray vegetable oil like Pam or whatever, and she sprayed it. She said, I always sprayed it. Um, they've never gotten stuck, but I thought spraying it was a good idea, and I thought, aha, that's why they're not sticking. Now, the first waffle I made in here, I followed her instructions, and I sprayed it, and what happened? One, my waffle came, came out a little bit oily, but two, as it heated up, the oil was leaking out the bottom and made a mess. And I'm like, huh, when I pour this batter in there, that's exactly what's gonna happen in the top, out the bottom, and this thing is going in the trash. That's not what happened. Yes, the spray, as it heated up, leaked out the bottom, made a mess. The batter stayed. So, like I said, I moved forward and I did not spray it, didn't make a mess, it did not leak out the bottom, and they came out wonderfully. So, Here's my third go with this, and I thought I'd bring you along. And uh, if you're a waffle person like I am, nice warm waffle in the morning with a hot cup of coffee, and either whether you do some syrup or syrup, however you say it. Um, my favorite way is I like blueberry topping with whipped cream on top. That's how I like it. Or um, any type of uh, fruit on top. Now, as I said, Matthew has to be gluten-free. And it's very hard to find products on the market today, like hamburger buns or hot dog rolls and stuff like that. So just for the fun, I made a waffle. And of course, I cut it in half and I grilled some hot dogs and he had a hot dog roll. And he was like, this really works, but not with the King Arthur mix because the King Arthur mix is on the sweet side. So unless you like a hot dog bun that's on the sweet side, go for it. So I did the Bisquick and that's what worked the best. So he wants me to make him some more waffles with the Bisquick and he wants to have his first um, Italian cold cut made out of one because you can just sort of like put all your meats and stuff in there and put it up like a uh, a sub roll. So I'm gonna do that uh, this upcoming weekend for him. Uh, I wanted to do it this weekend, but it is raining outside. Today is Sunday. Um, I just finished up church. He's got a meeting and so forth to do. One of our parishioners just turned 101 today and they're having a big birthday party for her. So as you hear, it just beeped. The green light is a light, is lit, saying, okay, I'm ready for, for my, my first uh, liquid. So here's how I do it. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put this over here. I don't need it anymore. So the first time is I took this, dipped it in the bowl, and it works. But what I found was, then I drip it all over the place. So what I do is, let's move this back, ouch, ooh, that's hot, that's hot. 
So let's move this back a little bit so you can see how I've been doing it. What I do is I pour my batter into my cup. And then I scrape it so that I don't make this big old mess all over the counter. And then you pour this in the top and you don't make a big old mess dripping everywhere. And you hear all the sizzling going on in there. And I'm gonna move this out of the way and move this forward. Now it's sizzling, as you see, the green light went out the red light is still on, and all you have to do is wait a couple of seconds. It'll beep, the green light will come on and say, okay, I'm ready. So I'm gonna get myself a plate. You got steam coming out the top. I smell it already, it smells wonderful. And all I have here is I have a meat fork, so it's very wide, and you'll see how I use that when it's done. Mmm, smells good. So it kind of looks like you haven't added enough in the top you can kind of see inside, but as it cooks, it kind of rises up and fills in. Um, I normally do a full cup, but the one time I did a very top full cup and it, it kind of like bubbled out the top a little bit. So we're gonna see how this turns out. So as you hear, it's done. That quick. Got my plate ready. So you open it up. So I didn't add enough, that's okay. But look at that, it is completely cooked very well, easy to come out, and you close it up, wait for it to heat up a little bit more, but look at that, perfect waffle. Now again, I didn't add a full cup on there, and I will this time, but as you see, the light is green, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get another cup full. Let's get all this out. go and let's pour it in let's see if I can get it all out this time without being too messy there we go not too bad there mr. bunk Okay, let's see what happens this time. Wow, it just smells good. I don't know what it is about a, a waffle cooking. To me, it just smells so good. So I got myself some blueberry pie filling. We're gonna open that up. 
now that summer's coming, I'm gonna grab myself some fresh blueberries or strawberries. Make my own extra creamy whipped topping. Got that ready to go. We're gonna be ready for when this one pops out. so good. Let's back her up a little bit so when she pops out we'll be ready. And this one will um, I'll serve you up because this one uh, is going to be the full waffle. So here's something for you. Those of you who have kids or that don't want the full waffle. So this was a three-quarter cup. So you got pretty much a half a waffle. But look at that, it is so soft. That's what a, um, a number three will get you. One drop on the counter, that's not bad. But as you see, nothing is pouring out the bottom, nothing's coming out the sides. Um, So there you go. So it only takes like, what was that? A minute, two minutes? There you go. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. So I take my little fork, out it comes. And can you see there is nothing stuck in there, nothing. Absolutely amazing. So I am going to unplug it, move it back, let it cool down while we make ourselves this waffle. So what I'm going to do, without burning myself, I'm going to take my blueberry topping and I'm going to smear that on there. Whoops. You could do butter and syrup if you want. Put anything you want on top of your waffle. Remember, it's your waffle, you're eating it, you put what you want on there. So here we go. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. I made a little fountain on the top. Hmm? Get myself a fork. I wish everybody a happy Sunday. It is raining here. I hope everybody is well out there. I hope that you share in with this first bite. Yummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love this machine. This makes waffle making so easy. People, grab one, try one. This makes it so easy. Like I said, I used to try so many different ones and I always somehow made a mess or they didn't turn out or they didn't weren't in long enough. It was just a mess. This is just so easy. Mm, mm, mm. But there you go. Have, share a bite with me. Have a wonderful Sunday, everybody. Enjoy the people in your life. Enjoy life as it is. Give that person next to you a big hug and a kiss and tell them you love them. And I'll be talking to you soon. Again, this was the Quasinart Vertical Belgium Waffle Maker. 
This particular one is a refurbished product from Quasinart. You get a 90 day warranty. I found it on Walmart website. Um, buy one new, buy one like this, whatever you want to do. But until next time, have a good one.